Once when the earth was young, giants ruled, walked, flew, and swam the earth. Those giants are what we call today the dinosaurs. Dinosaurs lived during three periods of geological time. The Triassic period, the Jurassic period, and the Cretaceous period. These three periods together make up the Mesozoic era. 245 million years ago, these enormous animals are one of the first inhabitants of earth. They thrive worldwide for nearly one 180 million years most died out by the end of the cretaceous period about 66 million years ago but many lines of evidence now show that one lineage evolved into bird about 155 million years ago just how many dinosaurs in total live on earth during the mesozoic era that is impossible to answer the estimated number of extinct giants is 10,000 plus this is bound to change over time since new bones and fossils will be discovered just how did all of these giants disappear why did they all died today we can no longer see these dinosaurs walking the earth in our time why is that so this is bench lady your host and join me as we take a look at the top eight key reason what killed the dinosaurs number eight change of pressure and earth axis both air and water pressure play a big part in the survival of some species that thrive the home that we call earth the earth is wrapped in a thick blanket of air called atmosphere which presses down on the surface this creates pressure called air pressure which is strongest closest to the earth where the atmosphere is thickest the higher you go the lighter you feel since there are less air molecules that are pulled by gravity down the core of the earth the same is true underwater at the bottom of the ocean creates very high pressure which can squash all but the strongest sea creatures that have been living down the sea floor for millions of years only water is heavier than air it is believed that ancient earth has a different air and water pressure than the present earth the giant flying creatures of the dinosaur age could only fly if the atmospheric pressure was much higher than it is now how did the atmosphere get to that pressure 100 to 65 million years ago what was the pressure before that and how did it drop down to today's air pressure the atmosphere could have started at higher pressure and then the decrease continuously through the Earth's life. Ancient Earth's continents were all part of a super landmass. How many times did the crust split apart and rejoin? Our clues come from the distribution of various life forms. For example, because dinosaurs' skeletal remains have been found on all continents, this suggests that the land masses were joined during the ancient Earth. It could be that these creatures, particularly the giant flying dinosaurs, died out as the total pressure of the atmosphere drop below their sustainable level plus their lungs may not have been able to survive the change in gas percentage on air the atmospheric pressure was higher in the past than it is today and consists primarily of carbon dioxide it could be impossible for giant and heavy creatures to sustain flight today they would have been very exhausted for a five minute flight maybe that's the reason why ostrich evolved to a flightless bird who knows it is argued and speculated that no dinosaurs could survive the air pressure we have today since most dinosaurs are big and has long necks gravity plays an important role in blood circulation of dinosaurs they must have huge heart that can pump blood towards the dinosaur's head the change in air pressure was too much for the big child's heart to handle and could have caused its extinction did you know that the amount of water on earth barely changed over the years we could have been drinking the same water as the dinosaurs modern filtration and safety standard mean that the water that comes out of your taps today is free from harmful bacteria at its core is the same water that has always existed on earth so if all the water we have is simply part of one big recycling system how is it possible for us to waste water what we are wasting is potable water not all forms of water is sustainable for human life today the sea is cold and dark but in the time of Ammonites, it would have been significantly warmer if you traveled back in time the coastline itself would be unrecognizable to modern eyes. In the Jurassic period, most of what later became Britain was under the sea. Apart from Scotland, East Anglia, and a series of small islands in the southwest, there were fewer 
water dinosaurs than those that thrives in the land. Not much information is said regarding water pressure in ancient Earth, but it was believed to be lighter than today. Changes in the orbit of the Earth might also affect the dinosaur. The moon and other planets are a part of the sun's family, and their gravity tags slightly on the Earth as they pass nearby, causing the Earth's orbit and also its climate to change by tiny amounts. Earthquakes plus the cameo of asteroid might have tilted the Earth's axis and make significant changes to ancient Earth's climate. The dinosaurs might not have made it through the change. Like the magnitude 9 Sumatra earthquake in December 2004 which shortened the length of a day by 6.8 millionths of a second. Number 7 Extinction of their food supply These giant creatures needed vast and abundance of food to sustain life. Another theory believed that the loss of their primary food supply was to blame for their extinction. Like the pandas, some dinosaurs may only have one food source that they fight over with. With the growth of the consumers, the food supply lessened. One reason for the scarcity of food probably is due to climate change and the Earth's evolution. It's not just the dinosaurs that go extinct, the species of trees and plants too. One of these trees could be the dinosaur's only food source. There is a discovery about a dinosaur bone with red blood cells in them. If particles of that one dinosaur were able to hang around for 65 million years, maybe the textbook were wrong about fossilization. Wouldn't red blood cells shrink and evaporate during the 65 million years that the bone spent lying on the ground? Or maybe we just assume that it takes years in years for fossilization to occur. We have no idea what decay means. There's a lot of really basic stuff in nature that people just make assumptions about. Like the fact that I was born knowing that we have nine planets. And guess what? We don't. Others die knowing that the earth is flat. Yet nobody today would say that. The whole point of science is to explore the unknown. Question the known fact. Curiosity is the building block of science. There will always be things yet to be discovered. Ever heard about Behemoth? It is a great beast from the biblical book of Job and is a form of primeval chaos monster created by God at the beginning of creation. It was described as having a tail which was compared to a cedar for its great size. It was referred to as chief of the ways of God which suggests that Behemoth was one of the largest of God's creations. Its nose can't be pierced suggesting it had a long neck so no pierce can reach them. It spends its its time in marshy areas. It stays under trees on the bank. So it could be possible that we were walking alongside with the dinosaurs but haven't really thought much of the idea since we are fixed in thinking that we live after their death. It could be that the dinosaurs just recently died about 4,000 years ago after the Great Flood. Know that the word dinosaur was coined by Sir Richard Owen in 1841 to refer to these great fossil lizards, meaning that the Bible was much older than 1841 and could not have possibly known the word dinosaur. Number 6. The Great Plague Dinosaurs are also prone to sickness. The ancient Earth's landmass does not look the same as what we see it today. The lands back then were part of a super landmass. Diseases might have easily been transferred from one giant animal to another. Parasites might have been the victor. An initial report about dinosaur's bone fracture in 1917 that followed with a full book called Paleontology in 1923. The books are surveys of fractures, infections, arthritis, and other pathologies visible in fossils. And after examining these cases, the author created a graph of injury and ailment incidents over time. Bone breaks, infections, and other pathologies reach a maximum of development among the dinosaurs, mosasaurs, crocodiles, plesiosaurs, and turtles. Increasing occurrence of pathologies may have driven dinosaurs into extinction. It seems quite probable that many of the diseases which afflicted the dinosaurs and their associates became extinct with them. No one can discount the probability that diseases, especially those vectored by minuscule insects, played an important role in exterminating the dinosaurs. Number 5. Alien Invasion 
Why not? For years, we have tried to explain even our own existence. Where is the missing link? Did we really came from apes? Why did other apes remain apes and did not evolve? Why are we the smartest creature in this planet? Or are we from in this planet? The ancient earth was home to huge animals that could be harmful for humans to live in. Early humans could have been meat for the dinosaurs if we were to live with them. So the solution was for our alien ancestors to use a comet to drastically change the environment on ancient earth. Our planet was prepared and made favorable for humans to live. After all, the big puzzle was that all the giant creatures of ancient earth went extinct at the same time. The fossils are aged based on the rock formation that they were found in. But if you take a lava sample from an active volcano, you would find that it is thousands or even millions of years old. Therefore, we have yet to truly discover the real age of a fossil. The fossil could actually be younger than what we could see in our present day lab. The dinosaurs may not have died for millions of years ago but just recently. The primitive looking silicon was thought to have gone extinct with the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. How? Simply because there was a fossil dating 65 million years ago with the said fish. But its discovery in 1938 by a South African museum curator on a local fishing tower fascinated the world and ignited a debate about how this bizarre lobe fin fish fits into the evolution of land animals like it was alive for millions of years but still look exactly the same as today so it did not evolve like what we have learned in school about science there are insects fossils dating millions of years ago and still look the same in our present time familiar with the stories of the dragons there are so so many textbooks talking about bees that either walks, flies the skies, or swam in our great oceans. It had been argued that in olden days, the people then referred to giant lizards over time as dragons. Stories pass on from generations to generations. Well, mainly because there's not much standard in records back then. Know that the word dinosaur was coined by Sir Richard Owen in 1841 to refer to these great fossil lizards. A great possibility that our ancestors could not have known that they were talking about the great dinosaur. Number 4 Evolution It is a known fact that the living creatures evolve over time to adjust to the ever-changing environment. The comet as well as the growing earth had changed the environment and climate that the dinosaurs are used to living. In turn, the walking dinosaurs started to develop wings. It is said that only the flight dinosaurs survive. During the drastic environmental change, the earth was no longer habitable for these giants. The time had come for new species to survive. That was the much smaller species that we see today. They were much more suited to living in the new earth. Aside from that, the smaller animal is less likely to consume all of its food supply. It is said that the dinosaur failed to adapt to the environment and that caused their extinction. It is not clear how long it took for the dinosaurs to disappear but we can clearly see that none of those giant species exist today. Rapid evolution was the key to surviving the rapid change in the environment. Mammals and birds did manage to survive and still walk with us today. If you enjoyed this video so far, smash that like, subscribe to our channel, and share this video with your friends. It would really mean a lot to us. If you like some dinosaur merchandise, take time to check the link in the description. I have added some that might interest you. Number 3. Food Shortage Whether the dinosaur died before their food supply ran out or vice versa is not truly really known. But there are theories that suggest that something drastic happened during their existence that changed the cycle of life. It's not just a dinosaur but all life on Asian Earth was affected, including some bacteria, insects, plants, trees, and more. It could be the changes in the climate or the gases that surrounds the earth at the time. Some dinosaurs might rely on one specific food source but unfortunately that food got extinct. So the dinosaurs that consumed them follows. The possibility that new evolved species were competing with these ancient plants and trees for life on earth and the new evolved species won. Others say that prior to the shortage of food supply, the dinosaurs were not multiplying as much as they were dying. We know that some animals only give birth to one offspring at a time. The shortage of food might have skipped a few years of giving birth to try to cope up with the shortage of food supply. 
Number 2. Volcanic Gases Volcanic activity is frequent on this planet and is possible culprit for other ancient extinction. Ancient lava flows in India known as the Deccan Trap also seem to match nicely in time with the end of the Cretaceous with massive outpourings of lava spewing forth between 60 to 65 million years ago. Today, the resulting volcanic rock covers nearly 200,000 square miles in layers that are in places more than 6,000 feet thick. Such a vast erupted event would have shocked the skies with carbon dioxide and other gases that could have dramatically changed Earth's climate. Proponents of this theory point to multiple clues that suggest volcanism is a better fit. Number 1. Meteor one of the most well-known theories for the death of the dinosaur is the Alvarez hypothesis named after the father and son duo Luis and Walter Alvarez. In 1980, these two scientists proposed the notion that a meteor the size of a mountain slammed into the earth 66 million years ago, filling the atmosphere with gas, dust, and debris that drastically altered the climate. The key piece of evidence is an oddly high amount of the metal irradium in what known as the Cretaceous polygen or KPG layer the geologic boundary zone that seem to cap any known rock layers containing dinosaur fossil. Iridium is relatively rare on Earth's crust but is more abundant in the stony meteorites which led the Alvarez to conclude that the mass extinction was caused by an extraterrestrial object. The theory gained even more steam when scientists were able to link the extinction event to a huge impact crater along the coast of Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. At about 93 miles wide, the Chicxulub crater seems to be the right size and age to account for the dino die-off. In 2016, scientists drilled a rock core inside the underwater part of Chicxulub, pulling up a sample stretching deep beneath the seabed. This rock peak inside the guts of the crater showed that the impact could have been powerful enough to send deadly amount of vaporized rock and gases into the atmosphere, and that the effect would be persistent for for years, life on Earth nearly was wiped out. An estimated 90% of all species living at the time were extinguished. The ocean was the worst hit. The mass extinction was worse at the ocean than in land. The great question remains, why did all the dinosaurs disappear at the same time? Or did they? These changes on Earth does not explain the extinction on all of them. In total, this mass extinction event claimed three quarters of life on Earth. If Stick animals were wiped out by some catastrophe, couldn't that just easily happen to us? Could we be found as fossils someday and no one would know why we died? This is your host Bench Lady. Not forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, do not hesitate to comment your suggestions below, and see you in our next top 8 rock review.